happy to be part of today's celebration of, you know, Seplat's exceptional performance in the last 10 years. And as minister in charge of oil, minister of petroleum resources, I, on behalf of federal government, you know, say categorically here that we will partner with Seplat, you know, to expand their investment for the benefit. We partner with, with us with Seplat to expand the investment, not only for the benefit of Seplat shareholders, but also, you know, for Nigeria as a country. If you see the numbers of Seplat's contribution in terms of royalties, taxes, it's enormous. And um, nobody can overemphasize that. And the least government can do anywhere in the world is to create the best environment for companies like Seplat to continue to thrive. So, Seplat, all the issues you raise about, you know, the exit mobile transaction, you know, have brought you and NNPC together, and we are the venture of closing all those issues. And I can assure you, I can assure you that um, we will close that in a very short time. Uh, the president is committed to the closure of that. I mean, president, you know, um, directed that I accompanied him to New York sometime last year, and we had a meeting with ExxonMobil. ExxonMobil, you know, uh, said, look, talk with Seplat, and then we'll be talking to Seplat, to brought parties together. We've gone pretty far, and I believe that we will close it no matter, you know, uh, the obstacles, so we'll close it. And because that is fundamental to the opening of new investment in this country. Now that the whole world is campaigning against, you know, investment in fossil fuel, if we close this separate transaction, separate expands the investment, Bonga Nut, which is predicated on that resolution, comes on board. The whole world will know that Nigeria now has become a new investment destination. <laughs> and that is what, you know, the objective of, you know, um, this government is. And I also want to take this opportunity to call on other companies to emulate Seplat. It might be increasingly difficult to access funding from the West. The Middle East, Saudi Arabia, UAE, they may not need money from any other country to expand their investment in oil and gas, because they have the money. But here, for some reason, we don't have the money. So we have to involve some ingenious ways of raising money. And I think the capital market should be the answer. <laughs> I want Nigerians to know that fossil fuel is not going away. The whole essence of the PIA was to ensure that we explore our oil and gas resources in a more responsible, cleaner, and sustainable way. You can also bear me witness that no country is stopping the production of fossil fuel. Not America. America is the highest producer of fossil fuel. They are not slowing down at all. You go to Norway, you can recall that last year, um, the British government gave up over 100 licenses for new explorations in the North Sea. All those things will require capex. But we need it here more. And I believe that I've always told, you know, the climate envoys that we are not against transition. Well, if the entire African continent emits only 3% of global emissions, then allow us to transit <laughs> at our own pace. <laughs> we are victims. Why, are you, why is your campaign more sustained, you know, at the doorstops of the victims? You people who are causing it. You are bringing your campaign by promising all sorts of things that are not feasible. And I've told people that no matter the promises or somebody saying that, okay, if you stop fussing for it, they will give you such amount. Just promises. And so at the level of OPEC, at the level of, you know, um, African Petroleum Producers Organization, APO, we are firmly committed to sustaining our production in oil and gas, although in a more responsible and cleaner way by deploying the best of technologies. But it's also an opportunity for us to increase our production so that we can begin to build capital now that the market price 
is very attractive. And so I'm using the opportunity to, you know, call on other companies, other oil companies, you know, uh, who are members of IPBG, who I believe, you know, will be the answer to our energy security problems of the country. Okay, look, you need to solve your own problems by yourself. The time has come for us to evolve homegrown solutions to our own problems. And I believe that the separate example, you know, should be recommended for all other companies to begin to develop very strong corporate governance structures that will attract financiers to have confidence and then invest in them. If we have 10 companies like Seplat, you can imagine that contribution, how that contribution will be to our economy. And our dream as Minister of Petroleum is to create the best environment, both the fiscal and the regulatory framework as prescribed by the PEIA, you know, to create the best environment for companies like Seplat to continue to thrive. And I want to also assure Seplat that as you celebrate 10 years, our expectation in the next 10 years is that Seplat, you know, that has grown, you know, its share price by over 500%, you will grow in every ramification by more than 500% in the next 10 years. So on behalf of, um, you know, the Minister of Petroleum, Federal Government of Nigeria, I congratulate I mean, Seplat, you know, for this wonderful, exceptional, you know, performance. And my prayer is that you will sustain this momentum. You will sustain this momentum so that it will be taken as a shining example. Not just in Nigeria. So many African countries are coming to Nigeria to learn from us how things have been done here. And I believe that Saplat will be a good example, not only to other companies in Nigeria, not only in the upstream, but also in the midstream and then, you know, the downstream. And sometimes when, you know, um, uh, some companies come to the Minister of Petroleum, we may refer them to you for tutorials <laughs> so, that, uh, <laughs> so that you can tell them how Saplat, you know, uh, uh, came, um, you know, uh, this far. You know, as, 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 as a ministry, we, we are also evolving ideas on how we can ramp up production. And one of, you know, what we have decided to do is to say, look, every available well should be explored. There are thousands of idle wells, thousands. Separate, you know what I'm talking about. You go to some locations, some blocks may have 150 you know, oil wells. And then you have maybe five, six out of the 150 are the only ones that are active. The rest are just lying idle. Why can't we give some of those wells to, you know, those contiguous producers so they can ramp up production? These are ideas that we're talking to them. Because the PIA gives us you know, authority to be able to farm out those wells that have not been explored for the last seven years. So we're engaging, you know, stakeholders, the IOCs, we're engaging NMPC to say, look, the ones you can't use, there's no point keeping them. And so Seplat will have good opportunity to grab a lot more. And since you've already, you know, shown your capacity, <coughs> when that time comes, please take advantage of it. So you can take a lot more assets, run them, for the benefit of your company and Nigeria.